Hey, and welcome back to Rev Limited. Today in the shop, we're gonna do a compression test while on the engine stand for this 3.4 stroker uh, 2JZ GTE. All right, now before we can get the cover off, we have to take the oil cap off. Yeah. Go ahead and take a look in there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and pull the cover off. The oil cap back on. Start by removing the spark plug cover and the coil packs, and then remove the spark plugs. Looks pretty good. Cylinder one. Cylinder two. Looks the same, looks good. Are you seeing this on the camera? I think you're too close, it's not focusing. There you go, that looks better. First one, the second one. Third one. Okay, can you see that one? Looks good. Look pretty good. Okay, starter works. Next, mount an automatic starter. The starter on the automatic moves the teeth a little bit further back because the flex plate is closer to the to the back side of the block. Whereas on the manual flywheel, the manual flywheel, the teeth stick about right here, so the starter is a little bit different. I tried using a stock flywheel, but it is just too thick. It will not fit between the engine and the stand. Okay, next connect the positive battery terminal from the starter down to a battery, obviously on the positive post. Run the negative terminal. Uh, in my case, I'm running a jumper cable. And we're just gonna connect it to the engine mount. Very good. And then the solenoid, let's see, the solenoid starter wire. Just got it connected to a power wire. And all we have to do is touch the positive terminal. Okay. All right, let me get over here in position. Okay, let's give it a test. Just connect the starter solenoid wire to the positive for about half a second. All right, very good. believe this is the adapter we're going to use. Okay, we're going to start with cylinder one and we're only going to go about three to four rounds and uh, compare our pressures. All right, let's so start with cylinder one. Three or four. Three or four. Um, uh, let's do four. Okay. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four. That's good. That's one, uh, it's right at 190. Okay, got cylinder two. Ready when you are. Three, <clears throat> three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four. All right, so that's 190. It's about one, it's about 191. All right, cylinder three. We're gonna go four rounds. Uh, ready when you are. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four. Okay, it's settling out. It looks about 190, it's about 193. Okay. Take it out of three. Into four. 
Okay, Henry, going four rounds, ready when you are. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four. A little bit higher, it's not quite 200, that's about, it's about 198. Okay, cylinder five, ready? Four rounds. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four. That's good. It started sparking at the end. Uh, it's probably just getting loose on that terminal. So 175, 80, 90, it's about 190, it's about 192. Pretty close, 192, all right. All right, cylinder six, ready when you are. Three, two, <clears throat> one, go. One, two, three, four. And let that settle out. And again, that's not quite on the 200. It's about 198. All right, good deal. So that was an easy way to check the compression while it's on the engine stand without having to buy any special tools. Uh, as long as you have a flex plate and a starter, uh, then you can check it on the stand. Of course, with a battery and some wires. So it's good to go. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, comment, and come back for more. Appreciate it.